So this is my sister. She's, she's way smaller than me. And this is my twin brother. Um, he says, what's up? And this is like the Taking second cheetah bite. Taking up the whole bite. couch. Ah, yeah, we are. Okay, so this is the second cheetah bite. <laughs> This is the second cheetah bite, and we're gonna talk second. about the second one. And we're gonna talk about. You're saying we weren't important enough. I know. Yeah, I no, you were mentioned in the first. Some of us weren't even mentioned. You didn't even mention that you had sisters. Anyway, so I'm not salty. Is, <coughs> in the in the picture, like fair amount, and then and then Akifa moved it so no. that she was basically. <laughs> I was like, literally oh, not in it. I, so so it's, it's about exam time. And you're thinking, I got externals now. And then what does mom and pop's family do next? There's going to be, it's just never going to end. And it can feel like that. And in fact, um, you know, kids make a lot of rash decisions. And they don't realize that actually, you know, six months or seven months of difficulty. It, like, it feels like forever when you're a teenager. But when you look at the grand scheme of your life, when you look back, it's not going to feel like a long time. So let me tell you about your schooling, okay? Let me tell you about your schooling. Schooling, yeah. Let's say I'm just gonna take example like someone's in year twelve. Okay, someone's in year twelve. I'm a, I'm, I'm a math guy. I love numbers. You're in year twelve. You've got year twelve. Let's say you're twelve, thirteen. You, you got to finish year twelve and year thirteen and three years of university. Yeah. That's five years, right? Okay. Yeah. So exactly five years five. of education. Me, everyone, to one, two, three, four. Five years of education. That that seems like forever. Now let's talk about what happens when your education finishes. You're about twenty two. Now every number I give you, if I'm like if I'm like BSing you, you can just turn off this video and never listen to me. But I am telling you the honest truth. Twenty two, most people start working. And uh and, and, and the thing is you can work. You're gonna work till you're seven. Are you? Right. Well, this is fine right now. This is fine right now. But they're talking about moving. Uh, the, 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 they're yeah. talking about moving the age of the time age. Look, right now they're saying they got to move it up. Shh. Right now they're talking about moving it up from sixty-five. I mean, by the time they grow up, it'll be seventy, right? It might be eighty, but I'm gonna say seventy, just for a hypothesis. Anyway, let's say, let's say, let's say, yeah, she just wants it on herself. Okay. Yeah, she, so, let's say, okay, so let's say, let's say 70, right? Now, what is that? How long between 22 and 70? You might not be so good at math, so let me know. That's 48 years, which is about 50 years. Okay. What what does that mean? What does that actually mean? What does that mean? Guys, this is the, this is the what does that mean? That means you've got a choice right now. The next five years in front of you, approximately, will have a big bearing on the following. If you bum around right now, and a lot of can, you will see your friends doing that. You will see some of your friends, they don't even, they don't even have to come to school. They're like bailing. They're like playing video games. They're doing whatever. And they be chilling, and you're studying all the time. And, and you're going to feel like, you're going to be like, man, like, they're living the life. Yeah. I tell you what, they are right now. I tell you what, five years from now, I'm not saying you can't be happy, but if you get a dead end job, you struggle. I have friends. I'm not saying you can't be happy. I know, I know people like that. They're happy, but they, yeah, trade's awesome. Trade's awesome, right? The point is, yeah. So, no, this is serious. You try to, you try to. You try those people the struggle the right? the those people struggle they might be happy but they'll tell you this one, i'm struggling don't do what i do right and the other thing is some people get cushy jobs some people they never have to get qualified um and they get cushy jobs right but you know what they have like they have no job security if they if they lose their job, then it's really tough to find another Christian one. So the the point is that you know you're gonna see your friends, but some of them, and they're gonna be happy right now, but then they're gonna struggle for the fifth. And so the choice I'm putting in front of you is it's five years to go. But you know what? If you work hard these five years, you get fifty back. That's that's ten years back for every one year you. Work. 
surely that's a freaking good deal. I know it feels like forever. I grant you that I was in your place. It feels like forever. But a few a few years later, when you're done, you're gonna look back. You're gonna be like, it wasn't, that bad. and it wasn't that bad. And you, I can't remember. That. It's something I needed to tell. Let me let me let me just, let me just, let me just, let me, just, let me, just, let me oh, just put my two cents. Yeah, go ahead. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to say anything on a mic. This is against the mic rules. But at the end of the day, like yeah, on one on one end, these five years is a huge payback. But you also got to remember that everything's a habit. And this is a great time to develop good habits. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you can work hard for these next five years, you'll probably be doing it for the rest of your life. And for me, if you work hard and you enjoy the process, the rest will take care of itself. Okay, everyone, like and subscribe. Some shit I had to say. Right, wait, no. It's awesome. It's done. It's done. We're dropping the mic. We're dropping the mic. It's over.